let's take a quick look at the MC and the IC. I remember when <coughs> I was doing research in my 20s, I started uh, learning astrology when I was about 16, which is a very long time ago. Um, and um, in my 20s, doing a lot of research, and the Midheaven was often just skimmed over. It was known as a public point, a non-personal point. We know that the four angles are incredibly personal to us because they're the ones that uh, really differentiate us between all the other people born <laughs> during that day. Um, and so even the MC is a very personal point, um, even though it may represent more uh, professional or social aspects of our persona. So I found that people weren't writing about it. And it interested me a lot because it was always activated in people's charts when they came to see me. And I started to see clients from about the age of 25. And yes, so it's about 25, yes, or maybe a bit less than that, 22. It's a bit um, a bit naughty. I think I saw clients a little bit too early, but hey, um, that's how I learned. And so I was searching for definition, could find some and then felt like, well, I need to I need to do a lot of research. Since then, people have written on the MC a lot um, in different books, so um, it, it's great that it's getting more attention. Think of the IC, the Imam Celli, the low point in the chart, uh, the northern point in the chart if you're in the northern hemisphere, or the southern point if you're in the southern hemisphere. Um, think of it as um, the roots, the soil. Uh, think of that is the very much what the family has poured into your life, the uh, regulations, the ideas, the promises, where you've come from, all those sorts of things uh, at, at that taproot at the IC. The MC is very much about what we grow into, into ourselves, into the world around us. So think of it as the IC is the roots and soil, the midheaven is the branches, the foliage, the bloom, the blossom, the flowering of who we are in the world. And like any axis, we ignore one end of it at our peril because uh, you can't just sit around thinking, I'll just be my north node or be my ascendant and forget the opposite axis. So axes are very much like seesaws. It's very important to pay attention to both ends to continue to grow and develop both ends of any axis that we look at. Okay. I say here, picture the midheaven, the MC, as a skylight. Uh, we look up for illumination, um, look up for inspiration, and it's that sense of really, um, initially, what do I want to be when I grow up? Think of the IC as the basement that's got, it's damp with memory and, and smells of the past, and that sense of when we go down to the basement, there's just a sense of, an eerie sense of, um, there's a history here or there's something been buried here in a way, laden with artifacts from our past, that sort of feeling. So you can start to picture these uh, two ends of the imp all important MCIC axis in that way. And in a way, the midheaven is a call to leave that comfort zone. Think of the IC as the uh, coat of arms, the family name, to branch out like a tree, to branch out on our own, to dare to become who we were born to be. Now that's a solar principle. And the sun, uh, the day, the whole day is planned by the sun moving around the four angles. We've got sunrise, we've got the, uh, the sense of culmination or noon at the midheaven, we've got sunset at the descendant, and then we've got this eerie moment of a changeover, midnight on the IC, roughly speaking, of course. And, and the sun, in a way, has a relationship with each one of those four angles. I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but really the sun is the journey, who you were born to become or remember, remembering who you were born to be. And through the MC, you could think of shining that light through the prism of the MC. So the sun works in a way of like, how do I blossom in the world? How do I fulfill my individual role? Share it with the community, share it with the people around us. So the MC is very much about that sense of um, taking it out there. It's a, a dream, a vision, the sun. The MC is that moment in the day, that high noon moment where we share our uh, 
um, our inner light with the world in some way. We, we project that out into the world. So the MC is, is a calling. We think of that idea of, uh, of vocation, vocare, to call, and to leave the comfort zone of the IC. And there are lots of them in the chart. We think about the North Node and the South Node. We think of the Sun and Moon, the sense of developing a journey and not necessarily staying with habits or gut reactions always. But as always, we don't just leave one and ignore the, the, the other for the rest of our lives. Um, so the key to the Midheaven, whatever sign you've got there uh, on the Midheaven, um, planets particularly that are conjuncting, squaring, trining the MC, um, it's about carving out your own reputation, one that's different from the IC, from the parents, from what they wanted, what they stressed as important. So it's the balancing act, remember that seesaw idea, the balancing act of blossoming as an individual without putting our principles and our past, our family, who we, where we come from, who we've come from, without putting that in the shade. Okay, so that's part of the journey of the MC and the IC. And you can see you know, astrology so much about polarities. Imagine you've got Scorpio on the IC, Taurus on the MC. There's a quality of understanding the darkness of Scorpio on the IC, understanding that there are things in your early life that maybe you didn't have control over, you didn't have power over. So you go out into the world and you want to build this Taurus MC, this um, uh, brick house that the big bad wolf, the inner saboteur, or other people around your life can't blow down. So this is always a journey, always interesting to look at how um, uh, we're to look at our IC, to shine a light into that. It's got all sorts of qualities there that we shouldn't ignore. And then take the best of that, move it towards the MC and try to, uh, in a way, um, bear fruit, to feel inspired, to share some sort of purpose with the world. So look at your MC and IC signs, any planets nearby, and see it as this journey. But it's not a journey that we take and we just, as I say, ignore the past. Okay, we don't leave it completely in the shade. Now, the MC is um, very much the definition of success. I, I remember there's a great book that was published um, many years ago by Lois Rodden, and it's called Money, How to Find It with Astrology. And, and it's a great book about employment, work, money, but it's really a great book about the midheaven and blossoming and becoming the um, the image of success you have. So as you're thinking about your MC, think, what do I elevate? What do I put out there as being important? If you're a Taurus MC, maybe the idea of being reliable is something that you prioritize. You really admire people with staying power, with an ability to look after business, with an ability to, uh, to deliver on their word, on their promises. There will be some of the characteristics that we admire with the MC in Taurus. MC in Gemini, think about the qualities that of Gemini, the best qualities of Gemini, where we might um, uh, admire intelligence and ability to do many things. And people with Gemini midheavens often have dual careers. They juggle many different things. They might be a, a palmist and a tarot reader. They might be a psychologist and an astrologer and somehow do the very best Gemini mix and match act of putting it all together and coming up with their own eclectic mix. And this is the, the quality of Gemini Midheaven, to have duality in one's professional life, in one's social life, etc. So think about that. Lots of other examples. I'll, maybe I'll come to a few of yours uh, a bit later on. The Midheaven, so is the de definition of success. If we were to say, what do I really want? With an Aries midheaven, maybe Aquarius midheaven, independence, uh, the reputation for being your own person, doing your own thing, um, achieving a first, that would be very much um, part of the, uh, the um, Aries midheaven. Or thinking differently, uh, being the outsider and having a different perspective with Aquarius on the MC. 